and then studios where they're nice and air-conditioned, and Alan, you've been there, and, and others. But today we're on the road. Yesterday we were in Melbourne, Florida. Um, what's the problem? Yesterday we were in Melbourne, Florida. I think it's booting up. Keep going. It's good. Where uh, we interviewed Roger Gangitano, the Act for America chapter leader in Melbourne. And we spoke about Act for America as a great organization fighting uh, Islamic Jihad. And then last night, I was the uh, keynote speaker at the Space Coast Act chapter in Vieira at the uh, County Commission Chambers. Um, and I, I delivered an interesting message. You guys haven't seen it, but you, you should go to the website, TrentoVision.tv. Well, I saw the, two, the uh, interview on, on TV yesterday from 2 to 3. Did you watch, did you watch the thing last night? Uh, no, I didn't. Here's what I did. I'll tell you what I did. Um, I started out, and about 100 people in the audience, we were streaming it live, mm -hmm. and I said, uh, I'm here with a heavy heart today. I said, uh, this 90-day analysis on April 20th, 2013, will bring information that I uh, never imagined would happen. And I presented what the country, the world will look like on April 20th, 2013, 90 days after the inauguration of uh, President Barack Hussein Obama. If he wins, this is what the world will look like. Aye, aye, aye. And in that world, uh, Hillary resigned and John Kerry was nominated and uh, approved by the Senate to be Secretary of State. Didn't he serve in Vietnam? I think he did. I think Good. he swiftly served in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And then I went on to say that um, Holder resigned from the Attorney General position, took the position of uh, Secretary of Defense, and, uh, and Gloria Allred uh, was approved for the Attorney General position. This is a doomsday <laughs> scenario if I've ever heard one. Uh, that, and I went through the whole thing in the Supreme Court and all of this, and you know what? Uh, there was a little bit of uh, sarcasm or satire, but it's about 85-90% accurate as to what could happen in the next cycle. So and the whole idea was to mobilize these people to, to take off um, and work hard, because we're in that phase right now. Um, and to realize that their worst fears can be realized. Who would have ever thought in three years, three short years, mm -hmm. the superpower concept of this country would change super from super to also ran and power to virtually powerless? I mean, that's where we're at. But tell everybody a little bit about your your passion, your work, what you do with the photography and the drawings. This is really interesting. Well, I'm. Uh, I never thought I'd be in the position of not having to meet a payroll. Hang on one second. What's sure. that, Joe? What's that? Getting directions. Okay. Good. We're good. Yeah. Uh, after a. Um, <laughs> After a career, a 38-year career of designing and producing exhibits for trade shows and museums, uh, finally was, was, able, a bit. was able to retire. I don't like the word forward the way it's being used these days. <laughs> forward, everybody! <laughs> that is so stupid. In any case, uh, I'm, uh, I've been retired for a while, and I find that uh, I enjoy shifting gears between writing, uh, conservative, mostly anti-Obama, anti-Islam material for uh, a number of blog sites and uh, drawing uh, much in the same, uh, in the same mode, uh, cartoon, political cartoon, uh, drawings that uh, are slightly sarcastic but always pointed, and also photography. I've been following Alan West around since, uh, since he was on his first leave of absence from his two and a half year tour in Afghanistan. And when he decided to uh, run for the House of Representatives, I began to follow him uh, and photograph his, document his, his appearances. And uh, I shift gears from the writing to the drawing to the photography. And uh, I don't let anybody know this. I'm sure this is not going out or being broadcast, but I'm a happy man.
except for the political situation, and we're working real hard to do something about that. And um, one of the contributions Mort makes, Mort's, Mort's the definitive uh, symbol of an individual who can make significant, unbelievably significant contributions uh, by volunteering time and using his talents. Uh, the, the cartoons, the satirical and parodies are, well, you're going to see more and more of them in the days to come. They're simply amazing. His, his uh, musings are very humorous but pointed, and we, we post those on occasion. And then his photography, I mean, you must have shot through the years hundreds of pictures of me, and 90% uh, eh, of them are pretty good, but he'll send me on occasion one of them where you know, my fingers and my nose like this, and he says, Tom, there's an interesting position. We try to keep you on an even keel. Yes. The keep keep the keep my feet and on the ground and my finger in my nose. It works well. Um, but here's what you could help me with. Sure. The uh, the zombies are coming in. The zombies are coming in. You know. Um, and I'm gonna bring Alan back here. Sure. If you could float around. Oh, here's CJ. Hello, you made it in, okay? Good. If you could float around. And, yeah, 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 yeah. And the lefties. Find some lefties. Okay. Let's, let's see what we can do. Yeah, let's see what we can do. Have a little fun with this right here. Good, good. And oh my God. Show you. I show the people that. Sure. This is what I'm talking about. This is a surprise. Here's a picture that Mort took. Um, how is that, Mike? Oh, here it is. Little, sorry. Uh, just, just hold the camera. We'll find it. Over here. Right there. <laughs> you got to move it slowly. Okay. It's a picture of uh, moi with uh, Mr. Stanley Tate. Oh, what is that one? Hang on. We're going to see what that one is. There's Mr. Stanley Tate. Are there two of them of Tate? Uh, no, this is a little bit different. Yeah. Oh, another yeah, view. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. nice. That's very yeah, nice. Good, good. Are those for me? For you. Can you sign them for me, please? No. Yes. No, my signature. I right, put them in there. They'll go in my bag right there. Oh, we've got all kinds of pictures. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Where'd you get that? Oh, that is cool. I dug it up from uh, 2009. That is yeah. very cool. Uh, we're looking at other more personal pictures. <laughs> Uh, but Mort is going to, and if you could help him. Good. I need help. Oh, you want to get rid of me? I just got here. We want to bring some. Uh, we want to work as a team. We want to bring some of the lefties over. So uh, you're going to sit down. We're going to talk. And we're live, folks, at Century Village in West Palm Beach, Florida. Where it is really happening. Where it is a happening place. Um, the room holds about how many? About 300, it looks like. Two, 300. And the uh, dignitaries are going to be here. You see the seats over there uh, facing the stage? Those are for the dignitaries. Are you guys sitting here? Uh, and then Alan and Danny Danone will be in later. As we said, um, we're not allowed no uh, live video of this. It's a sort of a private meeting for the Century Village people. I think they were a little nervous, Century Village people, about having a, a live broadcast uh, uh, so, but we're going to interview Danny Danone, a member of the Knesset, that's the um, government body in Israel, right-hand man to uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. We're going to interview him a little bit later. We'll try to interview uh, Alan West, bring you all of that tomorrow on our show and maybe some videos. But I'm going to send you as a uh, field producer, out and about. We'll grab some of the lefties, some of the... Um, the uh, uh, the people that the non us the non us I'm trying to <laughs> not to use terms I would typically use right. uh, but yeah see what you can do Alan if again. you can sit down Thank you. CJ go find me some whack jobs okay I mean some uh, well that's okay I just have to show up and I will attract all you will attract them. Sure. Okay. Is it like play the part? Yeah. <laughs> uh, role play. Yeah, uh, we can do that. We're gonna we're gonna role play right now. This is Alan Bergstein, my debate partner. Four debates so far against the leftist Democrats, and um, but right now he's gonna take the, the the position of a leftist Democrat. Hi, sir. How are you? I am fine, thank you. Uh, I'm I'm fine, thank you. 
I'm okay. Is there, uh, let me ask you one question. We'll get right yes, to the sir. core thing. Yes, sir. Is there any way possible ever on the face of the earth you can walk in a voting booth at any time for any reason and vote Republican? No, because if I do, there will be a lightning bolt from heaven coming down and will split me in two, and I do not want that to happen. So never, ever, any way can you ever vote for a Republican. You can never vote for the man. You have to always vote for the party. It's not in my heart to vote for a Republican. I started voting in 1938 for Franklin Delano Roosevelt. I've always been a Democrat. I always will be a Democrat, and I will die a Democrat. Okay. Do I have any other questions? Well, you could ask me uh, how many times I voted for Republican, but I will tell you I've never voted for Republican. But let me ask you this. Yes. You're Jewish, right? Of course I am. Where does your you can't Jewish... can't tell by my accent. <laughs> Where does your Jewishness impact your public policy, your, your decision to pull a lever? Suppose I'll, I'll, I'll concoct a very bizarre absolutely impossible scenario. Let's say America elected a president who uh, was uh, uh, born to a Muslim father. Now, this is just hypothetical, totally crazy. I know where you are going. Born to a Muslim father, uh, raised that part in a Muslim country, uh, and, and, and uh, uh, became a community organizer, became a lawyer, community organizer. Let's say he was in a big town like, I don't know, figured out of Chicago, mm. um, worked uh, for the Saul Alinsky, in the Saul Alinsky methodology of community organizing, went to a, uh, a church that preached, um, I don't know, black liberation theology, um, schooled under pro-Palestinian activist ideologues. I'm just making this stuff you're, up. You're on I was going to say, of course, you're not talking about Barack Obama. This, he never, no. I never read this in the New York Times. I never heard this on MSNBC. I never heard this on CNN, ABC, NPR. And I, I am well read. I read the New York Times every morning. I read the, the Palm Beach Post. They never said anything about that, so that's a lot. I'm just making all of this up. Yes, you are. Suppose. And suppose it became evident that this, this make-believe, fabricated president uh, really didn't like the Prime Minister of Israel, really didn't like the positions of Israel, and through the years uh, made statements and movements against the state of Israel. And, and then all, many of your friends, your non-Jewish friends, many uh, Christians and others, are saying, this guy doesn't like this make-believe president that we're talking about. He doesn't like Israel. In a situation like that, could you ever find yourself voting didn't for I, Israel? Didn't I tell you in the beginning that I am a Democrat and these things mean nothing to me? If he runs on the Democrat ticket, I vote for the man. If it's Heinrich Himmler, I don't care. Rudolf Hess, yeah. Hess, you know Rudolf yeah, Hess, you know, sure, maybe yes. too young to know. I would, if it's on the Democratic ticket, I will vote for them. If they tell me to vote for them, I will vote for them. Okay. Right, we got to come out of character now. We're back to Tom Trento, Allen Bergstein. 20 minutes to the top of the hour, WNN 1470, Tom Trento. Broadcasting on Trento Vision from our little iPhone today, folks. These phones are amazing. You may see a little delay between my voice and the movement of my lips. That's okay. Hang with us. Um, and what Alan and I just did was a two minutes of little role play, but all my conversations, which have been in the hundreds if not thousands with um, leftist Jewish people, have been almost exactly...